Now, you may be thinking, why would I spend time learning about some homeless girl I've never met before? Well, I wouldn't blame you if you turned around and left right now. I do have an amazing story that I still can't believe is really real. I grew up here in this small town, and since I was a young girl, I've had a unique kind of gift. Some people have called me a freak, but I don't really care all that much anymore. Before I ran away from home, I kept getting letters from some kind of school in New York. They said they were aware of my gift and wanted to teach me how to use it properly. I have no idea what any of that means. When I was about seven years old, I discovered that I had the ability to read people's future by a simple glance in their eyes. One night, when my mother was still asleep, my father came home late from work. I noticed something different in his eyes when I looked at him. I asked him who the lady was that he was with before he came home. How the heck did you know about that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stop. What do you think you're doing? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut My father left my mother and I a week later for some woman he met at the diner down the street. I haven't seen him since. Let me tell you that having my gift isn't really the easiest way to keep friends, or family members for that matter. So I ran away, not wanting to keep anyone close to me. This gift has made me ask a lot of questions though. Like, does the future fluctuate based on the actions of everyone? Or is it all just written? But one thing is certain, no matter what I do, I can't change the outcome to the visions I see. Did you find her? Yeah, she's right in front of me. Make sure you don't lose her, Scott. Relax, she won't get very far. Can't believe it took this long for us to find her, ever since Cerebra was destroyed. <gasps> all we knew was the city she lived in. I'll check on her later. Baby, where are you going? Hey, I just want to talk. She's being followed, Scott. Yeah, I know. Why are you even talking to me, Sierra? Don't you have danger room training to do? Well, with Logan gone, who do I have to pick on? I'll see you soon. I'll see you when you get back, Scott. Please don't hurt me, please. I'm not. 
not going to hurt you. My name is Scott Summers. I'm with the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters, and we just want to help. I, I, can't, I can't see your eyes. <laughs> Come on. Let's get you checked out. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Sierra, send the wings ASAP. Get the medical room ready. She's pretty bruised up. You got it, Scott. The jet should be over there soon. Jaden. Jaden. <laughs> My name is Charles Xavier. One day you'll be a great asset to our team. <laughs>